There's been a series of changes in how antimicrobials and other drugs are regulated. And so veterinarians are responsible then for following those rules. So the first change was the end of the use of antimicrobials purely for growth promotion. So they're not available any longer to use on healthy animals just to make them grow faster. The next change was we took all of the drugs that were provided in the feed and we made them subject to a prescription type component called a veterinary feed directive. And so a veterinarian has to sign off on the use of that antimicrobial in the feed before it's used. And that means that they have to also have some documentation about what the need is and the disease purpose. The next thing that changed was all other antimicrobials, some of which used to be available over the counter at feed stores and co-ops and things, are no longer available over the counter. They have to have a prescription. So anything in the water and just about anything that's injected now requires a prescription. And so those steps now have taken antimicrobials, especially that were available through a wide range of sources, and really put them under the supervision of veterinarians. So I think that veterinarians are trained to, to understand the most judicious ways to use them and, and the ways that are going to be the safest for the product and the best for the outcome of the pig. And so I think that's a big step forward. And that's important for consumers to understand because they may not know that. We have a very, very safe pork supply, and we also have a number of tools necessary to ensure animal health and welfare. And that's an important balance to keep. So when you think about animal health and welfare, you really can't provide that completely unless you're using all the tools that are available. And some of those tools are antibiotics. And when we use antibiotics and we treat animals and we clear disease from those animals, then we create a safer product for consumers. The question then becomes, you know, the fate of the antibiotics themselves. And, and what's probably more advanced here in the U.S. than a lot of places is we have a rigorous testing program. The federal government tests the meat. They do the science to establish what level, if any, of the antibiotic is safe. Most of our drugs have no tolerance, so the animal has to be free by the time they're marketed. Some of our drugs do, and a lot of those are actually drugs that humans are, are normally using and are given, and so they, we already know what the safety levels of those are. It's a balance that we work to maintain, and, and I think the concern from consumers is, are we overusing those antibiotics? Are we using them in an environment that increases resistance? And so those are questions and concerns that we share because long before resistance reaches the human population, it's resistance within the pig population. And that means our treatment of the animals starts to fail. So we have somewhat of an early warning system in that respect, that if we can make sure we're using antibiotics in a way that they stay effective in the pigs, we're less likely to be creating resistance that will escape and ultimately create a problem for people.